What, um... So, so here we are to get the storage unit That's done. Pleasure, we, <laughs> we, Scotty has how many keys in your van? <laughs> Plus the other two we gave Lindsay this morning. And we still can't get in. So now we're going to have them cut it off. And we have, what's your name? Ricardo. Ricardo and Mike. Mike patiently waiting just for us to get this thing open. So we're going to go back to the front desk and get them to cut it off. And they're preparing to cut the lock off. It's safety first, safety first. Good job. Yay! For these few things. But we did We've got to place this stuff, but then we've also got to place all the stuff that they bought earlier that's still all over the place because we we're still doing so much work at the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we need to get like so. Milo is coming over to hang all this stuff. So I want to get where all this stuff's going. So obviously this dust is going to be in here. Um, where were you thinking this horse was going? Okay, you didn't have like a specific idea? Okay, it's pretty cool. But at the end of the day, we have to figure it out where all this is going. So, yeah, so this needs to go up to the third floor, into the dining room. We'll put these back in the bathroom. The linen press, I think, is going to go here. I think that'll work, even though the door is here. Um, All this stuff that came from the storage unit is estate sale finds that I've found over the years for Jenny. Um, this is new today. This is gonna happen. And this says China, but I don't even remember what we bought now. So it's gonna be like Christmas opening up some of these boxes. I hope we have places for all this morning. All of this came from our estate sale at my exit loss. <laughs> See? And now it is a new home. And now it's gonna be a new home. I'm thinking, I don't know, we gotta find a place for all this. I mean, that could go in there. And I guess maybe, but maybe too big. We already have a little one up there. I don't wanna get it too, I don't wanna like jam everything with furniture. So I'm thinking this goes up to the fourth floor. The round table is gonna go in the living room. Yeah. I'm not sure what we're doing with this coffee table. It's gotta be redone. First of all, I don't know that the colors will work. The pattern is super cool, so I'd love to recreate it. But, I mean, it's actually kind of, this is curious. Um, it's like a lighter on it, but look how the pattern here has led through, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I think they paint it. Yeah. I just get the finish on top. So that wasn't cool. This is just stressed at the base. And then just put it different and put a top on it. Like we could even do like a cool, you know, like a marble or something. Yeah. Or even like a kind of glass, like a smoke mirror or something. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be cool. There we go. Here's our um, hoops for champagne. Maybe we'll put that little chest right here. Oh yeah, that would be cute with like silver on it. Yeah, because we bought we bought a tea set. Did <laughs> you have to? <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad because you go to these estate sales and it's like you just can't help yourself because it's just it's so cute. It's like, well, and on Sunday everything's 50% off and it goes for like nothing. Is this for the bar? Maybe a bench one. Or the, it's gonna have to be this wall, so whichever floor. Okay, I like the horse there. 
Now let's do it on this floor since this is the main, yeah, entertaining floor. This is kind of fun because this is from um, Coleman Adler's, which is like the historic New Orleans. Still open today. of our wanting to get 150 about French place. So we're getting ready to hang all these botanicals. And so we laid them out that we want four over four over four, three rows, two inches in between. So Milo, tell us the trick on how to make this perfect. Well, uh, what I did was this, you wanted two inches in the middle. Yeah. And this is our starting line here. Right, okay. So we're gonna put a picture right here. So we use the painter's tape and we've got that little bit of line. I don't wanna mess up the wall, because we're right. gonna kill me. <laughs> So we're gonna just do this. Our first picture starts here, right. two inches, and then our next picture. Okay, so we've got the lines laid out and that's the trick. So these things, uh, these are a couple of just different whiffs that they manufacture. Um, and they go to go like this. I wanted to go compare them against what the old stuff and pulled out. Okay. I'm assuming you might want to match something similar to that. Yeah. In this OG profile. So what is it? Spanish, Spanish cedar. cedar. Okay. Yeah. So right now he has a job bid with half inch insulated glass. Okay. I looked at the. Plans. I couldn't even find much information on what type of glass. We weren't doing insulated. So we can pull the insulated out if you don't want to, that reduce the cost. Okay. So the other thing to remember on the windows and the and the doors, so the old school way yeah. is all um, true divided like Right. Each one, each piece of glass is a separate piece right. of glass. Right, right. Which is usually what I do. Yeah, our okay. guys like that because each piece throws a little different shadow off of it. Yeah. You see what I mean? When you go to like the ones that are full panes of glass and then they just apply the molding to it. Yeah. They don't no, they don't look right. Like right. Much, right. It's, it's probably a lot more energy efficient. Right. Of but, course. But it gets expensive. It gets expensive. Well we've got to use so many old windows that it didn't really matter because and then we've got the HDLC on top of that. Yeah. So we just wanted to match the old profiles and the old windows. And these have a square profile. So these get put back on the front of the house. Yeah, yeah so I mean, we'd like this to... This is a square with like a bead. Yeah. Um, here's some of you. I mean, we can, and we can mimic... Or I was, I think that's what you want to do. Yeah. Mimic this fan, basically. Yeah, I definitely was um, trying just to match all yeah, the detailing we have. Size here. This is basically a four footer. Yeah. Four footer by 
22 inches. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I want it to look like it was all here and all went together. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's the goal. So yeah, I think let's just try to match all the existing. So I've been unpacking all this stuff that Jenny and I have collected over the years from estate sales. And I just want everyone to see how amazingly you can get stuff at estate sales. Like we bought these candlesticks for $15 a piece. We bought some chafing dishes, which make entertaining so much fun for $30. Some of the trays were a bit more expensive. The silver picture for 25. This is no idea what we'll ever use this for, but it's a little caviar thing. Um, it could be also fun to put ice and butter in it. We got this set of china for not too much. We found that fun scale that we're gonna be using. We found this huge glass cloche. So estate sales are a great way to collect old things that really get sold for pennies on the dollar. Go to estate sales, find some fun stuff.